Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to do a sponge, steam, no, a steamed sponge cake. <laughs> and uh, this is actually a, a traditional uh, Chinese dessert for, for dim sum. So instead of using an oven, uh, we're going to actually use a wok to do this. So let's get started. So we're going to use self-rising flour, and I'm going to flavor this with some citrus. And I'm going to zest a little bit of lemon into this. There we go. And this is, uh, this is probably enough for two people. So if you want to play around with the, with the recipe, you can do that. So there we go. We've got some lemon zest right there. And we're going to put in an egg. This is a large egg. And to that, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of maple syrup. So if you want, you could use honey, you could use some sugar. Of course, then you maybe you want to use a, uh, a jungle egg because there won't be as much liquid. There we go. And to that mixture, well, let me just mix it up a little bit here. So to that mixture, we'll add a quarter cup of self-rising flour. So this is going to be a pretty wet dough. Mix that right in. And you want to get this pretty smooth. If you don't want to use a fork, you can use a whip. If you're in a real hurry, you could use an immersion blender, especially if you had a lot. So the smoother, the better here. And when you uh, steam this, you want to steam it in a container that's going to be wider than it is tall. So you don't want it to be um, too deep. And that's true generally when you're steaming anything. You don't want it to be too deep. What I'm wiping the inside of this down with is uh, some butter. If you want to use shortening, you could do that. Even a little bit of oil would be good. There we go. And so we're going to put this right in there. So it's more like a batter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a steamer and I've set my wok up to be a, a steamer here and what I did is just before I went online I actually had one of these already made and I've steamed it up in here. So you won't have to wait for it to get done, you'll actually get to see what it did. So it rose up, you can kind of see that. So I'm gonna put this in here. And you'll wanna steam this for about 15 minutes for this size. If you, um, if you, you know, make it for more, you'll wanna have it steam a little bit longer. But 
Make sure it's boiling before you start the timing. And we'll just cover that up and when the buzzer goes off, we'll be ready. So I'm going to set this for 15 minutes. Let's do this again. There we go. There. All right. So here it is done. And hopefully this won't be sticking in here. Nope, that came right out. That's great. And it's pretty spongy, which is nice. So let's uh, cut into this. And you can see it's nice and light. So this is a traditional way to uh, bake a cake, steam a cake. I'm just trying to cool it off so that I don't burn myself when I taste this. All right, so let's uh, let's try one. Very light, spongy, sponge cake. Yum. Very light and moist. I recommend it highly. So that's it. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.